Hey everyone, it's me again. Um, the mice have chewed the wires off with electric brakes. So, my brother-in-law's father built this uh, pit and this trailer doesn't really have a lot of room. So I said, this is gonna be a lot easier to get underneath. And um, see if I can fix the electric brakes. Oh yeah, this is gonna be way easier. He built this pit to uh, do like pressure washing and stuff like that. I should probably paint these uh, axles and stuff too. It's really getting rusty. See if I can figure out. And I'm not quite exactly sure what. That's, those two wires are chewed off. And I'm, you know, I'm not super familiar with, uh, that's corroded. Super familiar with electric brakes, but like over here, the wires are completely gone. Well, they're not, oh no, it comes out of the axle, so. So I'm not sure whether, you know, if one of these wires cuts off, if um, the whole system goes out. So I'll start with fixing the, uh, I'm gonna cut this little sec, just because, uh, let's see if I can, well, look at that. Well, that came right out of the, out of the fitting, so, or not the, I guess, uh, so I guess we'll fix that too. Hopefully these are all work when I'm done, so. Look how rusty this is, huh? You know, this will be the next thing. I really, I should come back and fix that too sometime, so. But this trailer is, is heavier, uh, with all my stuff in there than you would think. So it really, uh, I don't like, it's hard on the brakes on the truck. So I don't wanna, that's a good one. Yeah, see that's broke off too. Um, I don't want to, uh, it's a good way to warp your rotors and, and these, Maybe other types of trucks are fine. Maybe maybe uh, Ford brakes or Dodge brakes are different. I doubt it, but um, so, anyways, I haven't used this. Um, I haven't used this um, trailer a lot in the recent. Really need a different crimper for this, don't I? That is a lot. I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, there you go, genius. That doesn't work either. See, I'm definitely not an electrician. That's not a real good uh, crimper. I may have to go in the garage and get something different. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Look at this rig he bought. It's like tractor grader. I assuming it's assuming it's a Massey Ferguson. I don't know where he found that special thing. A Huber? I don't know. Huber? Huber? Huber. Is this like the 1950s Uber? Alright, I'm back. This should work better. Hopefully you guys can see. I think it will anyways. This is actually what it's made for, so. There, look at that. Okay. I have to, I don't know, give me a lot of room there, but. I had this, I can't remember, I had this when I, I think not, I had first had it, I think maybe. And had it up north somewheres and um, 
the my uh squirrels or mice got in it i'm not sure which one so and they got in it and chewed all this wiring underneath in the winter so now i'm fixing it so Shouldn't be good. Now we'll go to the next one. Hopefully this works good. This is way easier. The first time I I had to do this once, and the first time I did this, first time I did this, um, I had crawled underneath it, and that really didn't work that great, so, um, because there is not much room underneath this thing when, um, you're laying on the ground, there's not much ground clearance, so. This is way easier. Now I know why they have these in garages. Well, there's a lot of things I'd like to have. But, it's a little, and I did the video earlier today. I just, this has been kind of back burnered and um, you know, I talked to Wes about really wanting to have this on the job um, I have I need to do some cleaning inside the trailer but uh, um, I have a hose maker hydraulic hose maker inside I have um, Sorry, I'm all, trying to multitask here. I have, what else do I have? Torches, the welder generator, um, chain grinder for the, the harvester chain, um, tools, spare parts. We always kept filters in there. Um, I mean, really everything. We always tried to um, keep everything we needed in here so that we didn't have to go anywhere. So if... Um, you know, if we had blew a hose or something broke, we could weld it right on the job and really save a lot of time depending on where you were working. Um, um, and more than that, just being able to limit your downtime. So, and as we, you know, did stuff, we really spent a lot of time one spring with the old forwarder and changed a bunch of hoses and and a, and a lot of other stuff and I that's when I had bought the new processor that I have now and we kind of stopped using it as much and then we really should have had it with the old forwarder at the end but we didn't so um, but now that uh, it's more of the principle I guess where this is what we have it for so I should have it there because there's other things it's I have a gas air compressor in there to also so just blowing out air filters um, blowing out the radiators I mean it's, it should just be normal maintenance rather than waiting for um, you know it's something to overheat or something to, or for the filters to clog up, you really ought to blow your filters out maybe in the summertime, maybe once a week. Just um, just to practice good maintenance. So um, so it's it I've kind of got a little slack with that. So uh, I was gonna have Wes um, we need to do some more shelving in there and um, fix some more shelves and or put some more shelves in there just stuff like that I mean, the way this 
these springs are looking. First thing about not using this much is how much it's rusting up. So, um, but uh, we really should have it there. So I'm gonna get the brakes working. That's one of the biggest things. Is uh, I probably already said it, but I don't like driving it around with the electric brakes not working that well because it's heavy and the truck doesn't like to stop it. So. Um, so, what did I just drop there? I got these ones, the ones with the new red connectors. You know, that. So, hopefully, I'm gonna pull out of here, these will all work. So, um, but, anyways, yeah. And uh, we're gonna get this back, we're gonna get this back on the job uh, for what it was intended for. I'm gonna fix these ones. And, um,. We're going to get this baby back in service. Start using it. Start cutting down on any downtime we might have. So anyways, this is kind of a little extra video. It's something a little different. I can't believe how bad this is rusted. Uh, I'm going to have to bring this back over. And maybe you can, I can get at it pretty easy. So I think I'm going to uh, buy a wire wheel for my Milwaukee bat battery grinder. And wire wheel this and then probably put some rust proof on it for now eventually if I let this go too long I'm gonna have to put new axles and stuff underneath here so um, then I'll have all new um, brakes so anyways I'm gonna finish this up so like subscribe comment and we'll catch you later all right well I got ever I think I got them all together all the connections and all the either brakes or where the wire has been frayed. So I'm gonna leave you guys underneath here while I go start the truck and see if they work. So you guys can see if I knew anything about what I was doing or if it's gonna work at all. So let's, why don't you guys hang on and we'll see if they work. So I'm gonna try it out here, like I said, but the front axle uh, electric brakes do work. Uh, I'm not sure that the rear axle uh, electric brakes are working, so I might have to um, look at that a little more with the wiring that comes down along the frame. Maybe it's going to check another connection, uh, but way noticeable difference in stopping power. So I took it home, and it's not half as bad, so um, it's a lot easier to drive around now. So. Um, at least I can use it and have some electric brakes. And I could use it before, but I feel a lot more comfortable with the brakes uh, uh, having at least a front axle working. So anyways, I figured I'd do a little voice over here and explain that. Hey, look at that. Might have to run it a little bit. I don't know how rusty. Some of them, some of the brakes were, but they were definitely working. I could feel it in the truck, so it works way better. So I guess I'll have to, you guys saw it before me, so I guess I'll have to see. And they may not all, I might have to run it down the road. Some of those brakes haven't been working in a while. So anyways, at least a partial success. So like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch you later.